Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So I've been kind of thinking for a little bit recently. Um, <clears throat> and a couple thoughts have crossed my mind. All of them kind of come in regard to what I do on my own time when it comes to games and what I do on the channel. And realistically, there is not that much of a difference. I find it interesting. At every piece of content that has come on here, this, this is just kind of me thinking my mind when it comes to uh, content ideas, by the way. So it's more of a vent in a good way. A good vent, let's put it that way. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, when it comes to the content on here, a lot of the time, especially recently, it's come down to stuff that has gone through my head. Um, like the later video today is part of the series for the video game Paper Mario. Um, what triggered me wanting to do that particular series? It, it was between that and one that we'll be doing very soon anyway, and I was like bouncing back and forth, but the end result kind of came from the fact that Paper Mario gives me more nostalgia, gave me more nostalgia than the alternative. Um, now that I think about it, a lot of the stuff done on here has something to do with nostalgia, which makes sense given the name of the channel. Um, I mean, for those who don't know, even before it was called Nostalgia Train, it was called Nostalgic Dave. Since it was just me, I didn't have a definitive um, plan for the channel at all, just me idiotically gaming <laughs> uh, to, to get myself to laugh. And for the most part, it was stuff that was made years ago sometimes decades. For example, um, Super Mario Galaxy, the first, ga the first Mario game I showcased on this channel, um, I did that because of the fact that first it was the first one I had played through 100% completion, and by that I mean t play through it twice. 100%. You heard me, twice. Because the second time you do it, you actually unlock the last star that pretty much solidifies completion. At which point you can... Well, you know, that's, that's, that's a topic for a different day. That one was the first one I 100% completed, and I loved it. Have loved it since. It's kind of why it was one of the first Mario games that I actually did on the channel. Well, there are other. There have been other games outside of that that I've done. Each one kind of cores on that same idea, and each each vlog that's been done ever since I solidified, hey, I'm going to do a vlog and a game every day. Um, ever since I solidified that, each vlog has had some sort of either in the moment I need to get this off my chest kind of thing, or it would be something just to keep you guys updated on something. But if it's not one of those two things, it's always something that has to do with something in the past for me. And I know I'm saying that word I'm saying the word something a lot. I know. It's, it's kind of a nag for me to hear myself do that at times. I'm sure it's a nag for a lot of people. It, it, it's probably irritating for a lot. Regardless, every psychological related thing or mindset related thing at all kind of cores back to different experiences, whether it's from my past, from Pink Fox's past, from our third channel member, channel's member Aaron's past in some kind of way, or if it's a cumula cumulation of multiple of those, each topic has somewhat to do with another. For example, the eight stages of grief. The reason I started talking about those in the first place was actually it had something to do with the comparison of how I was raised and how Pink Fox was raised. They were different, and different enough to where I started thinking about that uh, anomaly, I guess you could call it, that hypothesis, um, th that, that theorem. That's the term I'm looking for. And it got me thinking of like the difference, and that's kind of what led me into to start talking about that. And I think that's a good example of like what led into the. It's a good example of the premise of allowing 
reality past nostalgia, whether good nostalgia or not, lead to the decisions of what's going to happen with this channel. As far as, like, plans lead, at least. And there are different aspects that are still kind of in the works. For example, when I started discussing with you guys pro uh, what was called Project Penguin, which is now being presented as Review Retraction, that had been an idea that I, something I've been wanting to do for about five years now. But I just couldn't get the, I, I couldn't get it off the ground because I couldn't get a good time, good time frame to actually work with it. Now that I'm at that point, even if it's going to be a di bit difficult being that, it's going to start rickety. The video portion, like videos talking about the actual review parts, are, they're going to be really rickety at first. Up until we, I'm probably going to take some animation classes at a point to help me with like the int an introduction to the show. Because I do want to turn it into a show rather than just me sitting on my butt venting. Well, not really venting, but trying to go against it like the point of it is kind of a dirt point but i talked about this in another video um <clears throat> and i don't know maybe that that particular show will expand into film as well like the show we present off of that will expand into different portions the difference between that particular show that we'll be running compared to others is most people who run shows like that do it weekly Ours will probably be more like dependent, since we live stream once every week as of right now. It might be once every off day where I don't work and Pink Fox does, or whenever I can. It depends. That still has yet to be figured out because that will be a future, a future point in time kind of thing. Anyway, um, I'm kind of going off the topic. All of this cores from something from the past. In the case of review retraction, it's an idea that's cored since five. Let's well, let's see. Yeah, about 2015. So more than five years. Since 2015, I've always kind of wanted to do something like that, and now it's off the ground because of the fact that that idea is considered nostalgic to me at this point. It's funny. The title of the channel actually suits more than it is, it's more than just what's on paper, but it's kind of a mental thing as well. I don't know. This is kind of just something I was thinking I've been thinking about for a while. Anyway, I'll stop ranting about this. I'm sure you guys have your day you got to go about and I'm sure you are rather probably be watching me being an idiot, which trust me, you will. If you watch the gaming ones and the, se the secondary gaming ones throughout each day, you will see that today. So thanks for tuning in this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give the video a like. Click, uh, click the link on this side of my head if you want to check out any other discussion rants. Some are good, some are bad, depends on the day. Um, or this side if you want to find something that may suit your fancy a bit better. In the meantime, once again, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning again into this, guys. Excuse me. Whoa. We hope to catch you guys in another video. See you guys later.